Local charities play an increasingly important role in reaching hard to reach groups. This film is about the work of Sheppey Matters, a leading regeneration charity working on the Isle of Sheppey in Kent. Sheppey Matters was set up in 1994 by a group of concerned local residents who wanted to tackle poor health on the island. With support from Swaleborough Council, the Big Lottery Fund, the local PCT and other funders, the charity now runs a wide range of projects to improve physical health, mental health and promote healthy eating. This film gives a brief overview of the work of Sheppey Matters on a lottery funded community learning project which includes Tai Chi and dancing courses. ladies of all shapes and sizes, um, in lots of different mental states, depressed um, after perhaps a bereavement or um, having children and being stuck in the home or divorces. And what I've found is that this dance has a way of lifting people out of it. It's really good for depression. So everyone, any lady or man, any shape or size of any age can do the dance. Community learning dance courses are about fun and self-esteem. The people who take part want to get fit, but they also want a chance to socialise and enjoy themselves. By placing a strong emphasis on the fun elements of the course, rather than the health benefits, Sheppy Matters is able to reach people who would not take part in more traditional health promotion programmes. This approach is also working well on our singing and drama courses. Those taking part have reported significant health benefits, especially mental health benefits. It's a real attitude. It's a big fat song. Yeah? <coughs> yeah. 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 of me coming here was to gain confidence to sing in front of people, which I'm beginning to conquer. The first week I came, I didn't sing at all, only in the group, but um, the second week, because I saw everybody enjoying themselves and um, expressing their own ways of singing, I plucked up the courage to sing for the first time ever in front of people. Today I did, we did a show at the uh, Children's Centre, Sea Shells Centre for Children. I uh, managed to use a skill I had learned many years ago, Mackerton Sign Language. The children really enjoyed it and I found it very satisfying and rewarding. She heard a tiny voice saying, Help me, help me. Sheppy Matter has always taken, the, the, the main interest has been in the health and well-being of the population. Things people can do to improve um, their good health and good living. Um, and one of them has been healthy eating and healthy, healthy shopping, buying the right foods. And, and it has been felt for a long time that, that uh, this is a problem locally. And with the community chef, what he's doing is actually he's going into the community talking to people, telling them what, what stuff to buy, um, the, the, the nutritional values and how to cook it, on, on, on a limited budget as well. Because one of the problems is you know, the cost of food and how you can produce good healthy food on a limited budget. Um, we're making dishes we've never made before. 
Like paella, I've never made that. What's the other one we did with rice? do paella. What do we do with rice? Risotto! Risotto! Scrap that, it's risotto! <laughs> The community learning project offers affordable, high quality courses which people in more affluent areas may take for granted but have not previously been available on Sheppey. The Community Learning Project is just one of a range of projects delivered by Sheppey Matters to bridge local gaps in services. The charity also runs a community cinema, transport scheme, an activities project for older people and a rural youth project. But staff and trustees never forget the ethos that motivated the founders of Sheppey Matters. So is Mike Brown happy with the achievements of the last 14 years? Yeah, it's a long time. Shabby Matters it has achieved, it continues to achieve its objectives. Lots of, many, many people, uh, their lives have been improved, um, their quality of life has been improved by the services that Shabby Matters are providing. And there has been um, some improvement in health, and the figures show this. But of course, the job isn't, isn't complete. It's a very much an ongoing task, and hope and it will be for a long time to come.